Why are most amps boring boxes? Let's celebrate those visionaries who stepped outside of the box and made amplifiers weird again. With that in mind, I'm Joe from the Guitar Nerds podcast, and this is the Guitar Nerds Top 5 Weirdest Guitar Amplifiers. In at number 5, the only really modern build in this countdown, the Fender Vaporizer. A surprisingly 50 sci-fi space-aged vibe for a 2014 Fender release, featuring a wedge-shaped cabinet available in surf green, rocket red and slate blue, and a charming bowtie grille. The Vaporizer is a 12 watt 210 that takes 50's oddball design to surprising extremes. Featuring a volume, master tone and reverb control. The best thing about this amp is the single foot switch, which you'd think controls the reverb. But no, it simply bypasses the volume and tone control, unlocking an aggressively harsh full volume mode. Of course, why not? At number 4, an amp that looks like a TV. I guess this is the more common weird shape of the 50s and 60s, but I think the silver tone did it best with the 1482. Made in the 1960s, the silver tone 1482 is a wonderful sounding amplifier that you really should buy. Featuring 15 watts of output power and an additional tremolo effect, the amp also has a microphone input for harmonica players, not uncommon at the time. Despite being criticised for a lack of build quality, this absolutely wonderful looking little number has a decent crack at Fender Tweed Deluxe type tones and really carefully treads the line of being unusual and tasteful. In at number 3, the Yamaha TA series and the TA60 in particular. Part amplifier, part wedge of cheese. This doorstop shaped oddity from Yamaha came in the early 60s alongside the incredible SG series Samurai and Banana guitars. Matching the guitars in aesthetic originality, the shape was designed with a low centre of gravity in mind so the amps wouldn't be accidentally knocked over. And the fun doesn't stop there. The TA series featured Yamaha's flat trapezoid flexi speaker design. Advertised as natural sound speakers, these weirdly shaped departure from traditional speakers were described as having a non-directional and completely unique tone. The V-Front Watkins Dominator is a pure slice of liquid cool. In at a tasteful 17 watts, the amp made its debut in 1956. Designer Charlie Watkins says that he thought the angled 10 inch speakers would give a better spread of sound. And whilst that may be negligible, what it did do is make the amplifier look bloody brilliant. Usually found in turquoise and cream coverings, there may have been an early maroon and cream and later black and cream versions featuring a lack 10 inch speakers, two channels, four inputs and a tremolo with two EL84s providing the output power. And topping the bill, Dweezel Zappers PV Wiggy Amp. A solid state 100 watts powerhouse that you can't rest your drink on. This bizarrely shaped beast doubled down on its bonkersness with an equally weird set of amp controls. Tonally, based on the acoustic amps used by Frank Zappa in the 70s, the Wiggy features a diagonally angled graphic EQ and a set of fuel, miles per hour and revometers for you to try and work out what the hell you're actually adjusting on this strange beast. Modelled after Frank's old car in which he wrote many songs apparently. So there you have it, the Guitar Nerd's top 5 weirdest guitar amps, and we didn't even talk about the Electrosonic Nautilus or that time that Chara Amps built a guitar amp into an old fan. So what do you think? What did we miss? Let me know in the comments below and like and subscribe for more weekly guitar nerdery. Farewell.